This is LibreOffice 5.3, and this happens to be LibreOffice Writer. Version 5.3 is available in any of the Ubuntu's 17.04, and you may be able to get it through a PPA in older versions of Ubuntu or Linux Mint. And for other distributions, check the availability. But it's widely available now. And for the first time, LibreOffice is offering a choice of toolbar interfaces on an experimental basis. Now, to enable this, go up to Tools, left-click on Tools, go to the bottom, left-click on Options, and then left-click on Advanced. And you'll see here a choice to enable experimental features may be unstable. So you left click on that, check the box, and then click OK. And it says restart LibreOffice. For the modified experimental features to take effect, LibreOffice must be restarted. Do you want to restart LibreOffice now? I'm going to left click on restart now and it's restarting. So now to choose the different interfaces I'm going to go to view. First of all this is the default interface which is familiar to anyone who's been using LibreOffice for a while. It's a traditional menu with two rolls of toolbars and other toolbars on the side. If you left click on this arrow, you can make the ones on the side disappear. And if you left click on the arrow again, you can make them reappear. Now to look at the other options, go to View, left click on View, and left click on Toolbar Layout. Actually, you just need to hover over Toolbar Layout, and you'll see Default is currently the choice. The toolbar that most resembles Microsoft Office's ribbon menu is the Notebook bar. So I'm going to left click on that. And this is the Notebook bar. Now there are people like me who think that the ribbon menu is a counterintuitive piece of rubbish and we would never use it. Actually, I tried using it for a year when it first came out, about 10 years ago, and it constantly impeded my progress. However, one has to admit there are people who have grown up with the ribbon menu, who know nothing besides the ribbon menu, who think that it's the most wonderful thing that ever happened, and they're used to the ribbon menu. So I think it was wise of LibreOffice Writer to consider offering it as an option, but still retaining other options. So going back to View and hovering over Toolbar Layout, I'm going to left-click on Single Toolbar. And this is a much more compact toolbar than either the traditional one or the ribbon menu. It doesn't take up as much space vertically, which makes it ideal for screens with a horizontal aspect. Now, if you want to click on the double arrow here to get more tools, you'll see that they open up at the right. So going back to View and hovering over Toolbar Layout, we get the Sidebar. This has been available for a while in LibreOffice. And this is a solution to the fact that you may have more space horizontally than you need and you'd like more space vertically. So those are now the four options, Default, Single Toolbar, Sidebar, and Notebook Bar, which is like the ribbon in Microsoft Office. 
I'm going to go back to default. And that's the story. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.